born again They hung Christ like an ornament To the Lord she only he was sent I ain't know who I was so I had to repent Why we in this condition cause we didn't follow and listen You gotta be born again and I'm on a mission I don't wanna talk pay attention cause you in the midst of sin I was born again Hey Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 15 So the laws of God Christians, Christians call it the laws of Moses But it's God's laws When you read the laws of God they don't just say thou shalt or thou shalt not, right? Because when you think of law, you think of thou shalt not murder, right? Or thou shalt not steal. But we're going to show you what the law really say. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse number 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now the, now the Lord just said, it shall come to pass. What is that? A prophecy. Meaning it shall come to, in the near future, this is going to happen. Right. You know? If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If, if you don't listen. To observe to do all his commandments. Right. And his statutes which I command thee this day. If you don't, if you don't listen to do the commandments. That all these curses, all of these curses, read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said it's going to come to pass at some point. At some point, it's going to come to pass. If y'all don't keep my commandments, all of these curses will come upon you. Now read verse 16. Huh. Verse number 16. Bring it out. Curse shall that be in the city. What the Lord say? Curse, Curse shall that be in the city. Now this is what we're reading out of the law, the right. Bible. The Lord said we will be cursed in the city. Now what nation of people are cursed in the city? If you had to take a guess, predominantly. Wouldn't it be us, the, the, the Latino man and the black man? We in the in the ghettos, we in the section eights. Now, now, now mind you, we did all I, I know you got something you want to say, but we did all, all of this. Cotton field, tobacco field. The, the, the study says that we picked over a trillion million dollars of cotton. But we still in the section. We don't own no textile mill. You still buying Gucci. Your forefathers, foremothers did all that work. You still gotta buy Hanes, the, the, the drawers. Right. You see what I'm saying? The Lord said we'd be cursed in the city. You know? And cursed shall that be in the field. What the Lord said? And cursed shall that be in the field. Now, who was cursed in the field? That's now, right. This is prophecy. That's a fact. But go ahead and say it, because I ain't done. But you say that we cursed, right? The Lord said it. As far as our people being in section eight, you gotta look at it. It's also our people choice too. It's resources out here to get out of these levels of poverty. A lot of these places where it's levels of poverty, we killing each other, stealing from each other, we giving each other drugs. Can I can I answer that? Good. The majority of our people don't understand that. And when I say section eight, a section eight is systematically set up for people. Cause I, I made a good point. My I know I know for me, my forefathers, foremothers did all of this labor, the boy is work, and we don't reap the benefits. That's right. It don't make it don't add up. We the, the blood and the, 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 the blood and backs of our people created this nation. Right. We built this entire country. Right. You don't reap the benefits. That's now, right. Now bring this up. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now the brother said that we purposely live in these section 8s because we don't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no. what, what happened in the past, like, like I, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about today. Like, That's what I'm saying. What, what happened like, in the past? Right, right now, we still in section 8s on purpose because we don't possess the knowledge and understanding to get out from section 8s. But what did God say? The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Check it out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. No, all people. My, my people, people are destroyed, destroyed for lack of knowledge. My is a possession pronoun. The black, the Latino man, and the natives of these lands are the children of Israel, God's people. That's right. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We don't. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And that's why our communities, uh, they have no value. Our communities are, matter of fact, our communities become viable to people who want our women, our money, and our resources. We don't have knowledge. The, the white man, hold on.
our community becomes viable to people who need our women, our money, and our resources. The white man, the Asian man, and the Arab man set up shop in our communities and rape us of every dime. Right. That's that's not by coincidence. That's a fact. Read that again. Not not no. Continue to read it. Come. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy God, the Lord say, seeing thou, thou has forgotten the law of thy God, God, I will also forget thy children. We forgot the laws of God. That's why we in the section eights in the right. ghettos. Right. But that's just one curse. I understand what you're saying, but what I'm showing you is as a nation, the Lord said he will put curses upon us and it will cause us not to be able to be successful the way that we want to be. Right. We will be cursed in the, in the city and cursed in the field. Now give verse uh, 40, 40, uh, where is it? 45, verse 45. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 45. Bring it out. Moreover, all these curses right. shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. All of these curses will come upon you and pursue you, read. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest back unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't listen, read. To keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. They should be for what? For a sign and, and for, for a, a wonder. wonder. The curses would be upon us for a sign and a wonder. So when you look at a sign like uh, Blue Mercury, you know that's a pharmacy. When you read these curses, you understand who God's people are. Read verse 48. Verse number 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. What did God say? Therefore, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. enemies. You will serve your enemies, read. Which the Lord, Lord shall send against thee. The Lord was going to send them. In hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. You got to serve your enemies for everything, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon, upon thy neck. neck. Now who had yokes of iron upon their neck? You seen Django? Uh, oh, what's some more slave movies? Twelve Years a Slave. The Roots. The Roots. Underground. The TV show. We, we the only people that had Yoke Savan up on our neck. That's but that's in the whole. Your, your pastor got this book. The Catholic Church, but they don't read it. They don't understand what's in, the, in any scriptures. But the Israelites. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, verse 54. Break it out. The Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse number 54. Break it out. So that the man that is tender among you, so that the so that the man that was tender among you, and very delicate, and very delicate, the man that used to have respect for you, used to love you, used to check up on you, he was very tender and delicate. He cared about you. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Now he hates you. Right. What's that? Black on black crime. That's right. Gay violence. That's right. He don't love you no more. We used to, we, me and you used to check on one another. That's murders. Right now we holding grudges. We hate. We hate niggas. Facts. We come from the same place. You know what I'm saying at, at one point, you know, I used to check up on you, call you, see how your family doing, if you need anything. I would literally look out for you. Now we shoot one another because you stopped on my damn sneakers. Facts. You mad at me? You mad at me because I stepped. Step, I stepped on your shoes. I don't. I never seen a white man do that. Never. We don't. And toward the wife of his bosom. Even towards your wife. That's domestic violence. That's right. We can't get along with our black women no more. That's right. Black women hate hate black men. Right. You know what I'm saying they say niggas ain't shit. That's right. right. You know? That's and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which, which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. What is he gonna do to his children? Which, which he, he shall leave. leave. Now who known for leaving their children? This brother ain't have his father in his life. I ain't have my dad. My dad just came back in my life. That's a curse. The, the Lord is showing you why it's happening. Cause you, you know, the Lord said the black man is a god in the scriptures. That's right. But because we don't keep the law, we we docile. We here. That's right. We used to have sovereignty over all nations. That's right. At one point, we was calling the shots. Now we in subjection. We subjugated. We subjugated to to the white man's rule. 
You know what I'm saying? So if we want to go back to this, we got to come back to this. That's yes, a fact. I know you got a lot of questions and opinions, but I'm just giving you the facts. That's you know right. Saying? You, you see brothers out here, and it's not just us. You got thousands of brothers I, that do this. I know I, my people, they, they Israel. Like, I can't remember which, um, it's like West One or something like that. Oh, I, I, uh, I would have to call. West. I, I, I would have to call. Like, he talked to me all day. Like, say I'm on the phone, the same thing y'all say I know exactly what you're talking about. You, you reference One West, that camp. That's the original camp. It started with them, and now you got tens of thousands of brothers and sisters. Right. Coming back to their heritage. And we, we know, we familiar with that. Cause That's right. The One West camp, it was only but a handful of them brothers in New York teaching. Now you got I camp, Watson for Israel, IUIC, SOT, Sons of, yeah, Sakari, uh, House of Israel, uh, Fisherman's of Zion. Uh, Fish, uh, Fish Mr. Zion. D Light. You got thousands. Because I'm going to show you. Get a, get, hold that. Get Revelation 7 and verse 1. I'm going to show you why this is happening. I, you're right. Our people have to be willing to listen. We have to listen. Get that. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse number 1. Bring it out. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Right. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. I mean, what? Having, having the, the seal, seal of the living God. living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, said, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the service of our God in their foreheads. Till we have done what? Until we have sealed the service of our God in their foreheads. That's what we're doing. When, when brothers and sisters come back to this truth, their heritage, keep the commandments, that's a seal. Now what he just read was personification. Right. It wasn't literal, that the angel and the four corners, four winds. What's that, what, what they're going into is, these law statutes and commandments entering into the minds of our people and they they are now sealed now now read on it's more than that and i heard the number of them which were sealed and they there were sealed a hundred and forty forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now that was sealed 144,000. You familiar with that? So 144,000 of the children of Israel, the 12 tribes, they have to be sealed. Right. That's why we come out to the street corners. You got, we don't got a sign out here, but you got the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, you got Manasseh, Issachar, Gad, Zebulun, Naphtali, Asher. These are the Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Dominicans, Haitians, the, the so-called black man, uh, the Native American Indian. We got to come out here and push this word to them people. Right. Hoping that the Lord will seal them so we can get up out of here. Right. right. That's all we waiting for. Because if you paid attention to the scripture, the angel said, hold back the winds of the earth. That's the destruction of uh, World War III specifically. Until we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads, which is the law, statutes, and commandments when they repent and come back to the Lord. So you got thousands of brothers. That's the elect, Lord willing. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, you know, you consider the information, you listen to your peoples, and you and you come back to this truth. Facts. That you can partake in the kingdom that is to come on earth. And that's rulership and dominion forever. Because right now, this is just a punishment. Right. It's a curse. If you remember, the Lord said we have to serve our enemies in one of all things. You want food, take fillet. You don't own that. I don't own that. Even water, it falls free, freely from the sky. You still gotta buy it from your oppressor. You want clothes, still gotta buy it from your oppressor. You know what I'm saying? These are all curses. We don't own nothing. But the, the day is gonna come where the Lord is gonna put us back in a position where we own everything. say own everything like are you waiting for that to be given to you or are you willing to take it 
Because yeah, uh, that's something that's something I'm trying to... Well, when I say own, I mean control. Because the Lord said the world was made for our sake, the, the black, Latino, and the natives of these lands. The Lord literally made the world for one nation of people. Right. All these other nations, white man, Arab man, Asian man, they're serving as a handmaid. They, 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 they minister to you. But the, the script been flipped because we, we we broke the laws and the Lord took us took that from us. So when I mean when I mean uh own I mean to control. Have full sovereignty over authority and and, and, and rulership over. It's, it's a way it's a way to make them start. And that's what I've been studying right now. Like at first I was getting into like I wasn't I wasn't transferring over to the to the Israel light, but I was listening to my brother every day talking about it. And then I started thinking business wise. Like, I'm not gonna be working for nobody the rest of my life. I'm gonna build business. Especially for my kids. I'm not gonna raise my kids to go out there and work hard. No, we're gonna start our own. And it's a way we can do it. How many of y'all got how many of y'all credit good? I, I hear you, but that, that, that ain't the point though. I'm talking about making a start. Like I see in Georgia, you got black-owned communities like houses, not not apartments. They they buying out whole blocks and acres. That's that's what I'm saying. A start right there. It's something we can do. That, that's beautiful. But us when we when we when, when, when we uh, talking about this, we stay within the confines of what God has prepared for us. Brothers got beautiful jobs. You know what I'm saying? We make sure that we do we do for ourselves. In our communities, right. we only for our community. The Bible literally teaches us to be nationalists. You don't have to work for them. That's what I'm trying to explain. To I, you. I understand that. We want that. We don't got but like. We, but what I'm saying is, we stay within the confines of what the law has prepared for us, because we understand there's nothing we can do to escape the curse. Right. Right. We can we can build our own, mm -hmm. do our own thing. But at the end of the day. The Most High still has full sovereignty and control over everything that we do. Now, I want to I wanna answer your second question. Read that. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 18. Check it out. You said, uh, am I, are we waiting or are we going to take it? But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Now, we're going to wait for it. Shall take the kingdom. We're going to take the kingdom because when you, the, the, the word kingdom there just means rulership. Right. Like this is the white man's kingdom. Mm -hmm. Fact. Know what I'm saying he got embassies, embassies in different countries. Wake him up. Military bases everywhere. This this world is his kingdom. The Lord said we're gonna take the kingdom. You know? <laughs> Shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. He said forever and even forever, because it belongs to us. Right. Because a lot of our people, the the end result of our sin. Who some believe to be the peak of existence is some degenerate creature ruling over all melanated creatures. The Lord literally, when you read the book of Daniel, the fourth chapter and the 17th verse, the Lord literally tells you he was going to take the most base of base men and set them on top to curse us. And you see that. Right. Because a lot of our people don't like to ask the question, well, how the hell, how does he possess the power to control all these other melanated creatures? the Lord gave him the ability to do that. Right. Because we don't want to rule. Right. We want to be want to be niggas mentally and spiritually. We want to do what we want to do. That's what I'm saying. Us working at job, we don't want to own because we want we want to be basically handed down stuff. We wait on income tax to, to do this and do that. We can make that money ourselves. Like we want a job that's gonna be su security. We we want a job that's gonna provide retirement when we can provide more than that for ourselves. I, I agree with you. I, I'm not knocking. I'm not. I'm not knocking what you're saying at all. I understand. I understand what you want. You know. But but bring this up. The book of Baruch, chapter three and verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. What the Lord said. Behold. We, we are, are yet this day in our, our captivity, captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse That's and right. to be subject to payments. What's that God said? And to be subject to payments. Be subject to payment. Hey, look, 
I got my kids in the car. I got to get back home soon, man. Well, you understand what you got to do, brother. Yeah, I know, man. I and I understand where you're you coming from. But at the end of the day, you an Israelite, and the Most High God still has something to say. He still has something to say. Man, I, I talk to God every day, man. You get about it. it. It's time yeah. for me to take what I can receive, too. Make it better for my family and our community. Like, I'm willing to take but, that. But the Lord still has something to say. <laughs> We done. Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us. Where thou hast scattered us. Because the black man don't know where he come from. Right. You were brought over here on slave ships. The Lord scattered you. Read. For a reproach and a curse. And a what? And, and a, a curse. curse. You know what? And to be subject to payments. What the Lord said? And, and to, to be, be subject, subject to, to payments. You still subject to payments. Read that again. And to be subject to payments. You still gotta pay taxes. Right. And to be subject to payments. Property tax, all that. You know what I'm saying? Read. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. Because you broke God's laws, man. Right. Uh, you broke God's laws. It's that simple. God. You broke the commandments of God, so the most high place to curse upon you, black man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, I will return into my place until you have it. Let me get that in Hosea 5, 15. The Lord said, I will return into my place until you have acknowledged your offense. Right. Read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place right. till they acknowledge their offense. When the Lord left us, we were done. When the, when the Lord left us, we were finished, man. We were done. Our culture controlled by all white men. Our language gone. Our heritage uncertain. You ask a black man his heritage, he don't know. Right. Our community, it has no value. You get raped and robbed of every dime that you possess. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then you got the Christianity church on, in your hood, everywhere, on every street corner. Y'all don't even understand the Christianity church was systematically set up to destroy you. Your pastor don't love you. He wants your money. That's because the Lord left, man. Read, read it again. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place. Right. Till they acknowledge their offense. When the Lord left, your spirituality left, your, your spiritual connection with God left. You don't know who your God is, black man. Right. Now you're doing your own thing, right? You go to the Christian church and they give you shit like this. Right. A God that don't look like you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Foolish. And then they tell you your, spirit, your spiritual connection got to come through him. Right. To get to the most high God. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's foolishness, man. Right. I, I I don't understand. I don't understand how you still subscribing to these Christian churches. I don't understand it. And I'm only out here because I want a better community for my people. Right. How are we going to get a better community, man? How are we going to help our people? You know what I'm saying? We got to come back to God's laws. Right. Them same laws. Your pastor told you not to keep, we need to be keeping them. Them same laws, Big Mama refused to keep, we gotta keep those. We broke God's commandments. That's why we in our predicament. That's why we so docile and destitute. That's why we so broken. I want that for my people, man. How I'm gonna get Jake to stop smoking weed? God's laws? How I'm gonna get I'm going to get the black woman to stop twerking on Hellcats. God's laws. That's right. How am I going to get Jake to come out here and help us push this word? These commandments. Right. When you root it in this world, man. This That's word. Right. You know what I'm saying? Read on. If they offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. What the Lord say? In their affliction, they will seek me early. You want to seek God on your own time. Right? When the Lord puts you in that position, you won't prepare for it. Now you want God to come help you. 
Right? The Lord said, keep my commandments and live. The Lord gave you simple instructions. The Lord gave you a prerequisition. And you don't need qualifications to meet his prerequisite. You don't need no, what I mean by that, you don't need qualifications. You don't need to be the toughest, smartest, fastest. You don't need to know all the precepts. All you need to do is keep the commandments of God. That's it, man. The Lord gave us simple instructions. When you read Matthew, the 25th chapter and the 14th verse, the Lord gave every man a talent. And we got to double the thing that the Lord gave us, the wisdom, the instruction, the information God gave us. We got to use that to persuade our people back to him. Right? It's simple, man. It's not difficult. You know? Come and let us return unto the Most High. For he have torn and he will heal us. He has smitten and he will burn us up. After two days, will he revive us? In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. And we're approaching that third day. Because you know how people want to acknowledge that suffering and the, and, the, and the shit that they deal with on a daily basis when it starts to affect their life on a more serious level. When you good, you don't want to acknowledge the most high God. Because your pastor taught you that. Your pastor not teach you how to pray nor fast. Right? The Hebrew Israelites, the people y'all like to call black, taught you how to deduce the scriptures and apply them correctly. Your past right. ain't teach you that, man. Right. It's the people y'all hate the most that teach y'all how to read this Bible. Right. And when you think about it, it took us to stop being coons and degenerates to learn this so you could be able to decipher the judgments and mysteries of God. That's right. Let me get first Chronicles twenty two and verse twelve. Let me get 1 Chronicles 22 and verse 12, and let me get a Sirach, let me get the classic Sirach chapter uh, 17 and read verse 11. Oh. The Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments, and us only. You want to learn this word, you got to come to the Hebrew Israelites. That's right. Read this. 1 Chronicles chapter 22 and verse 12. Bring it out. Only the Most High give thee wisdom and understanding. What the Lord said? Only the Most High give thee wisdom and understanding and give thee charge concerning Israel. Concerning who? Concerning Israel. Hey, the Lord said he gave wisdom and understanding only to Israel. Read on. That thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. And he only gave it to us so that we could keep these commandments. That's right. He didn't give it to us to flex the understanding and, and wisdom that he gave us in front of all these nations of people, man. That's not why he gave it to us, man. He gave it to us that we would keep the commandments of the Lord. Bring this up. Come. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. The Lord gave us what for heritage? Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for a heritage. This is a heritage. The Holy Bible is a heritage, man. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Come talk to me, man. Brother, you got to separate. You're an Israelite. The Lord said you're holy. You walking with unclean people. The Lord said you're holy. You should be separate, man. And prefer your people. Right? But you don't know that because you allowed your oppressor to teach you about your own records. You allowed the so-called white man and his white Jesus to teach you about your God. That's why you're walking with him, man. And you don't even know they're going to seek to kill you. That's right. When the day come, they don't like you, bro. They're going to take your life. Bring it out. They're going to skin you alive and That's eat you for lunch and dinner. No they're not even going to cook your meat. That's right. They're not even going to cook the brother. They're going to eat them raw, man. But y'all like these devils so much. Y'all think, you know, because I said it earlier, they like to call us extremists, uh, 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 wild beast. But y'all don't understand that in the, in the day of Jacob's, no. In the day of Jacob's trouble, we going to look out for you. Right. We trying to prepare you for the time. But when you're not going to be walking with the white man, you're going to be on his damn plate. That's right. But they don't understand that, man. Because they're allowing these damn coon pastors to, te the, the, to teach our damn people. 
Yes, Microwave doctrine. Yes, Shit they learned in the damn theological seminary school yes, that the Lord never told you to go to. Right. Show me the commandment in the Bible where the Lord told me to go to theological seminary school to learn his records. You're not going to find it. You know the white man implemented that? If you want to teach the doctrine of the Lord, you must go through this theological seminary school. Brainwashing. Right. They, bl they brainwashing you, man. That's not in the scriptures. They teach God laws are nullified by Christ. Sure. You mean to tell me Christ... G you mean to tell me Jesus Christ died for me to sleep with your wife? Did Jesus Christ die for me to sleep with another man's wife? You see the, you see the, the, the tomfoolery we got to deal with? Y'all not learning nothing, man. Y'all learning from goofy pastors. Why are you, and, and you know they like to use Paul's letters to justify their lawlessness. Why, why teach me? not to keep the law and then expect me to live a better and healthier life expect me to stay out of the prison house why are you teaching me to live healthier don't i need to keep the, the law that tells me to abstain from the unclean foods uh -huh. you teaching me to abstain to, to to abstain from going to prison don't i need to keep thou shalt not murder uh -huh. thou shalt not steal uh -huh. can, can you go to prison for lying you can't go to prison for lying. Don't I need to keep thou shalt not lie to one another? That's what I'm saying. You expect, you putting these expectations upon me, but telling me God's laws no longer exist. If I want to, for an example, if I want to see my grandkids and you want me, if you don't want me to keep uh, uh, catch cancer, diabetes, my mother don't want me to catch these diseases. Don't I need to eat the clean foods? Because what's the number one cause for uh, uh, high blood pressure and, and uh, diabetes? Pork. It's pork. The Lord said, thou shalt not eat that small flesh, man. Y'all got a couple minutes? Are you, are you familiar with the Holy Bible, the laws of God? Never read the Bible in your life? Yeah, I have. So you familiar with certain books like Genesis, Leviticus, Exodus, Deuteronomy? I'm going to read you a couple scriptures. Uh, 20 and verse Nobody's reading these scriptures to our people. This ain't this ain't a uh, Christian church. This ain't Jehovah Witness. You know what I'm saying? This is the literal word of God that we about to read to you. Read, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. Which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said, it shall come to pass if y'all don't keep my laws. Now, remember, this is the book of Deuteronomy. You, you familiar with Moses? He part of the Red Sea. Moses wrote this. The Lord commanded Moses to write the first five books. So this was roughly four or five thousand years ago. The Lord said, it will come to pass. That when y'all don't keep my laws, my commandments, I will curse y'all. Now this is a future prophecy, meaning in the near future it will happen. Now read verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall not be in the city. The Lord said, Curse shall, shall not be in the city. Now that's gonna come to pass, Israel, that I will curse, y'all will be cursed in the city. Read on. And curse shall not be in the field. Now, what nation of people predominantly were cursed in the city and in the field? The so-called black man. The, the, the Latino man. The Hispanics. When uh, you, you familiar with the conquistadors and the Spanish? They conquered the, the Puerto Ricans and the Mexicans. Just like we were conquered by the Europeans. The Lord said that the Israelites would be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Now, what we show you is your history is actually in the Bible. Right? The, the Bible, it's not a it's not a religious book. It's a law and it's, it's your history book. It's a constitution. And that, that's crazy that they use the book to try to turn it away from us. Right, the, the Lord prophesied it's that. It's the white man's the, the The Lord prophesied that would happen too. A lot of our people that brainwash and they've been conditioned to think that this is actually the white man's book. But this is your history book. Right? You ever wonder why this happened to our people? Out of, out of all nations and then they made movies about it 
they markers. They uh, you got Django. Uh -huh. so, so that, that's supposed to be historical, but it's really it's com it's, it's comical. But that, that ain't shit ain't shit about that funny. At all. Oh. Read verse forty eight. I'm gonna show you that this is in the Bible. Verse forty eight. Bring it out. Therefore, shall not serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. The Lord said we will serve our enemies. Read. In hunger, and in thirst, right. and in nakedness, and in war of all things. Anything you want, you have to serve your enemies. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What would the white man do? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now who had yokes of iron upon their neck? Right, our forefathers and foremothers. Wake you know what I'm saying? The, the, the Bible says that we will have yokes of iron upon our neck because we didn't keep the, the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Read verse 54. Verse 54. Bring it out. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. So, so that the man that was tender among you and very delicate. Read. His eye shall be evil towards his brother. The Lord said, his eye shall be evil towards his brother. This is another prophecy. The Lord said we used to be tender and delicate, but what? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Now our eyes are evil toward one another. Now we mean mugging one another, black on black crime, gang right. violence. Right. At one point, we used to check up on one another. You know what I'm saying? We would never look at our uh, brother's uh, girl to plot on her. Right. We would call you, see how you doing, if you need anything. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We used to have respect for one another. That's right. But the Lord said our eye would be evil toward one another. Now, you step on a, a, a somebody pair of shoes, he gonna put a bullet in your, in your head. That's not love. That's stupid. Right. Like if I step in your shoes, you probably fight me. That that's the condition of our people. You know what I'm saying? Read on. And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward his wife. That's domestic violence. The black man abusing his wife. Right. Domestic violence. The white, the white, I mean not white. The black woman can't get along with the black man no more. That's a fact. Always fussing and arguing. Read on. And toward the remnant of his children. And toward the remnant of his children. Even his kids. Which he shall leave. Now who known for leaving their children? Like that. That's what I'm that's in the Bible though. Because I didn't have my, my father growing up. My father went to LA for a couple years. When uh my, my childhood, then he came back. You know what I'm saying? This brother didn't have his father. Nope. Predominantly the black man. He have his father. That's right. Because the black man, the Lord said he will leave his children. You know what I'm saying? Read verse 68. Bring it verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, are you familiar what Moses was doing in Egypt? How he had to deliver the people from, from Egypt, let my people go, depart the Red Sea. So when we were in Egypt, the Israelites were in Egypt, we, was, we were what? Slaves. They had us in slavery. That's why he parted the Red Sea and delivered us through the Red Sea into the wilderness. That's why we left Egypt. Get uh, you get the history. Get Exodus three and verse nine. Bring it I'm gonna I'm gonna just prove it. Exodus three and verse nine. Bring it out. This is the book of Exodus, chapter three and verse nine. Bring it out. Now therefore, behold. Oh, no, y'all need, need to hear this first. Y'all gotta fly it? Y'all gotta fly it? Y'all gotta fly it? Y'all gotta fly it? Well, y'all Israelites, according right. to the Bible, and y'all gotta repent and keep the Lord's commandments. Bring that up. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 3 and verse 9. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, and thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. The Lord had to deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt because the Egyptians oppressed them, man. So when you read Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68, Every Christian, every white boy that, that like to use our records to prove their personal beliefs, the law said that we were going to Egypt again. The word Egypt is bondage or slavery. Right? Read on. And the Lord 
shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What nation of people went into slavery on ships? What nation of people went into slavery on ships? The so-called black man. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What nation of people was sold? The black man. Read. Right. For born men and born women. And, and this is why we come out to your street corner, Mr. White Man. To profess to our, to our people that you've been lying to them, that you really don't like them, and that the Bible is in fact their history book, and it's not something you can use universally. You cannot establish your own religion nor doctrine with our records, because we out here to prove that these records belong to us, the Israelites, right? the so-called blacks, Latinos, and the natives of these lands. Right. right. These are our records. Right. You can no longer use our records to establish your own personal doctrine. Because you're only using your beliefs and your personal doctrine to make money off of our people. Right. You don't care about our people, man. At all. You don't care about our people. Read that again. For them. Hey, hey y'all listen to the scripture. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord. And y'all listen to the scripture real quick. I got one verse for you. I got one verse for you. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. What happened to the black man? In Egypt again with ships. By the way, where am I speaking to thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. And there he shall be sold. What happened, what happened to the black man? And there. He shall be sold unto your enemies. For what? For blind men and blind women. What nation of people were sold? I'm listening to you. I'm listening. Come on. Keep, keep going. Well, I'll ask you a question. What nation of people were sold? Africans. Not Africans. African is a continent. You're an Israelite. That's right. The Lord said the Israelites will be sold. That's in the Bible, brother. I'm listening to you. You're an Israelite. You, you know right. that? We the children of Israel. Oh, praise. What you say? What you what you say? No, we in the right area, man. We in the right area. The hell is you talking about? That's right. Get him up out of here. Do yeah, that again. Yeah. Mr. Booker, do the wrong. Matter of fact, drop that. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Ezekiel 25 and verse 14. Bring it out! Talking about some in the wrong area. Man! Read that. Come on. This the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25 and verse 14. Bring it out! Hey, look, you in the wrong land. This ain't your goddamn land, man. That's right! The white man stole this land from the Native American Indians. Right. So if I'm on a wrong street corner, you in the wrong land. Right. Read that. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. What the Lord say? And, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. What the Lord gonna do to the white man? And, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Read. By the hand of my people Israel. And hey, you need to watch who you talking to. That's right. But the Lord say he gonna use his people to lay his vengeance upon the so-called white man. Be a man and come over here and say Why don't you come, come over here and talk to us? Come over here and talk to us. Why don't you call, come over here and talk to us? Why don't you come over here and talk to us? Come deal with us like a man. Stop acting like a girl. You don't got you don't got shit to say because you standing over there. You stand. You don't got nothing to say. Read that again. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do an Edom according to my anger. The Lord said, And they shall do an Edom according to my anger. What the Bible said, And they shall do an Edom according to my anger. What the Bible said, And they shall do an Edom according to my anger. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 1. Behold! 
The Lord's hand is not shortened. Wait, that's not a uh, 58 one. Gone. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Bring it on. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. What the Lord said? Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. What did the Lord say? Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read. And show my people their transgression. Read. And the house of Jacob their sin. Hey, you not moving nothing over here, man. That's right. You not moving nothing over here, man. I don't know who the hell you think you are. I don't know who you think you are, man. Hey, look, you on stolen land. That's right. You on stolen land. You don't belong over here. Get out. Get out. Your blood. Get out. So what are you talking about? We're not going nowhere. That's right. As long as I see your face, I'm not going nowhere, man. Because you don't belong over here. That's right. You stole this land from our four, our foremothers and forefathers. That's right. Our brothers and sisters. This our street corner, man. The Lord said he made the world for our sake. Right. Get that in uh, second Edra 6. No, you stole shit. You stole this land from our forefathers and foremothers. Wicked too. And they got the nerve to lie. <laughs> hey, and I bet he believe in God too. <laughs> man, your people don't care about you, man. You believe in God and you disrespecting God's people. That's right. He's finished. Read that, man. He's done. Hey, his day is numbered, man. <laughs> the book of 2nd Andrew, chapter 6 and verse 9. Yeah. Come. Verse number 54. Yeah, reverse 9. Come. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. And a white man that entered this world, man. Yeah. Right. Right. You know? Right. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. And a black man is the beginning of the world that comes, man. That's right. right. Hey, look, white man. Your broadcast is coming to an end. That's right. <laughs> your broadcast is coming to an end. Right. You on your last season. Right. You on season finale. <laughs> and the so-called blacks, the Latinos, and the natives of these lands, we got a new, brass, new broadcast coming on. And it's going to be televised forever. Right. It ain't never coming off, man. The Book of Mark, chapter 1. Verse number 15. Bring it up. And say, the time is revealed, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe in the gospel.